All right, nice morning here in North Beach. I'll show you the breakfast sandwich in just a second, but just want to get the table set for 49ers Browns. News has just come out that Cleveland is planning to start P.J. Walker instead of the rookie Dorian Thompson Robinson DTR if Deshaun Watson is not ready to go against the 49ers. Deshaun Watson's status seems to be in a lot of doubt. He's been dealing with a shoulder issue. Technically, they said he was medically cleared, but they had a bat buy this past weekend, by the way, so we haven't been able to, to uh, evaluate Deshaun Watson in terms of a formal injury report, but technically medically cleared, but uh, had not been able to practice here for a while. Didn't practice on Monday in the, in the Browns bonus practice, and Wednesday is probably going to be the first closer look at where they would list him on the injury report if he's not back out there. So. If Deshaun Watson doesn't play against the 49ers, they're going to go to P.J. Walker based on this report because DTR, the rookie out of UCLA, was terrible in his first career start before the Browns buy. Three interceptions for DTR. So interesting stuff in Cleveland. The you know general gist of, of what's going on with the Browns is that they're very, very good defensively. That's the... I think headlining bout, the headlining story of this game. Yeah, the number one ranked defense. I know that we said that with the Cowboys last week. Well, now we're saying with the Browns, and, and they have even more impressive statistics than Dallas did with Miles Garrett and company. They even have Dalvin Tomlinson now on that interior defensive line. Um, but, but the offense for Cleveland has been terrible, has been really bad, especially in terms of the quarterback play. Deshaun Watson was shaky at best to start this season. Then the shoulder injury happened, and uh, now you look at the um, next options, and, and DTR obviously wasn't good with those three picks, and uh, P.J. Walker, who's a third-year guy, played for Carolina before this, came up, uh, came in and on mop-up duty against the 49ers last year, went five of six, but that was late in the game. He's kind of a 52% career passer. Uh, the 49ers look to have a big, big advantage over the Cleveland Browns on that end. So that's just the initial news entering this week. It's going to be the 49ers facing a team that's very good defensively, but has struggled offensively. Rain in the forecast at Cleveland. It's not sunny like it is here in San Francisco. You can take a look behind me. There's Russian Hill and uh, the cafe that I went to is, we'll just kind of make this walk up here. It's called Fiddle Fig Cafe. It used to be Cafe Sapore here in North Beach in San Francisco and I had a really damn good breakfast sandwich. So I'll uh, show you guys that breakfast sandwich. You can choose between a biscuit and a croissant on this place. I always appreciate the places where you can choose between biscuit and croissant. Take a look down back at the water, and then we flip it around to climb up Knob slash Russian Hill. I guess Knob Hill behind me, Russian Hill this way here in San Francisco. All right, a lot of 49ers Browns coverage coming this week. Just wanted to keep you appraised, give you the initial breakdown of this game. It is the 49ers against the bad offense. They're five and a half point favorites, and we're not really sure who's going to play quarterback for the Browns yet, but it doesn't seem like they will have too many good options. It's either Deshaun Watson, who struggled coming off injury, or P.J. Walker.